Hey guys, welcome to this week's podcast episode. I've got a fantastic guest for you today, full of experience, Ned Ko from Bulgaria. And he is an online marketer. He's got an over a decade experience with SEO, paid advertising, affiliates, and B2B marketing. And he's the founder and CEO at podvertise.fm. And so today's talk is going to be all about podcast advertising and the sponsorships marketplace, matching brands and agencies to the most relevant podcast to advertise on. So I'm really <laughs> excited about this show and welcome to the show. So Nedkov, welcome. Thank you, Christopher, for having me. Really great. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I'm always, uh, like I said, I love talking to people on the cutting edge. And one of those trends is advertising on podcasts and um, kind of talk about your background and your experience and how you got started in this bargaining field yeah absolutely so i've been as you said in marketing forever and i started with SEO optimizations uh, and back then for google rankings and over time i've got into paid advertising co-founder in ppc ad network but over time i figured out like it's super competitive if you do just another ad network so I figured out and kind of started uh, my first uh, startup, which was for uh, websites advertising marketplace. And we were uh, working there, going to conferences, building up. Uh, and uh, it was interesting field for sure. But during COVID, uh, I was listening so much to podcasts like uh, on daily basis and uh, so often about from marketers, entrepreneurs, startups. And I, I've seen that it's really fragmented market where there are a lot of hosting companies, uh, listening apps, different monetization models, but there there is not uh, like global marketplace for for um, the monetization of uh, podcasts and i figure out that it's really something that could be super great uh, opportunity uh, to help the podcasters to monetize better because they they really uh, would need like uh, additional revenue stream for uh, for from there to keep building it uh, week after week because you know better than me how much dedication it takes and all this and uh, yeah we we pivoted then and uh, we we've built it for like a year and a half even second year now and we started uh, we've just launched it like uh, in september publicly and uh, we've onboarded right now like um, 400 podcasts with few hundred offers there and uh, yeah it's it's super interesting because i can see that what we are building is actually helping podcasts to to monetize to also educate themselves like how to make their uh, advertising proposals so it's really kind of like an ecosystem around the monetization because there are multiple ways and yeah, we try to help uh, or or go to market strategy. Let's say is uh, we are focused on the host read ads because they are uh, they are directly revenue for the podcast and also they are uh, really easy to organize for them and also they are uh, very good. Uh, not forget also about the brands and businesses. It's also very much better to have like host uh, host is reading that or talking about it during the episode is way more um, better for the for his audience listeners that's our focus right now yeah and quite interesting you know like i said i'm always curious to where the attention is going and you know first it was like um you know he had radio tv and then uh like kind of like newspapers and then now it, it went it went uh digital it went to like blogs and, and now is the social facebook instagram and then and now TikTok especially <laughs> with yeah. TikTok shops it's going crazy over there yeah yeah TikTok. <laughs> uh where are we in podcast advertising are we still early is it still like you know like one or a couple yeah, question because mm -hmm. The podcast industry, the podcast medium exists for like over 20 years, you can say. Yeah. But right now, I think during the COVID and of course the Joe Rogan presence uh, uh, during the years, it's kind of emerging in the last few years since the COVID. It's really going 
uh, year year over year it's growing up like based on the eye up uh, statistics uh, it's like going very fast and uh, growing like 15 to 25 percent per year or something like this I, I have to check the stats but yeah so it seems that it's really uh, going and also what I've seen in the last uh, maybe six months or something maybe because I only I, I listen way more about the uh, world podcasts if I, I hear it in the everyday life but every company is trying to build their own podcast so uh, i think right now it's the between brand podcasts uh, are trying to build up but i can see that uh, at some point they'll try to to work with uh, podcasters like you who who have the experience who have their audience so at some point there will be some kind of collaborations between brands and existing uh, podcasts uh, i think that will happen over time so yeah it is great time right now and it will be growing uh, medium for the share for the next few years i cannot perfectly estimate yeah yeah like you said you said um like i said you know it's all the uh, advertising dollars going to TikTok, and um you know in the past it was instagram uh in that youtube and then um that's why yeah. in 2018 they said podcasting pay attention to podcasting because that was kind of really new and early and if you could start a show started um because now a lot of the advertising especially with spotify now and um you know they're doing a lot of well especially with ai now and it's just kind of like a lot of the attention is still very early because it's there's there's like i heard there's like only a couple hundred thousand just active shows because we have some kind of big data analysis and uh we we kind of see it it's uh it's like this it's uh a few hundred uh, thousand it really depends but four to six hundred something like this thousand uh, podcasts are active once over the last 120 days or something like this so it's it's really it's it's like this it's very hard to continue doing it with the dedication i believe uh, but it's i think it's worth it over time for sure because yeah. uh, there is also this kind of separation or how to say it about the the brands and the businesses they still are not educated about how to do it and no. i think we, we we are going to do a lot about this because there are a lot of newcomers or willing to become advertisers but just don't have the rope how like to to know how to to do it properly and uh, there is not enough educational content around this so uh this is a mission for us to also build that because <laughs> it's really will be helping a lot yeah i yeah. believe that will open a lot uh, as more platforms there for monetization helping the podcasts and then as more educational content there is i think this will simplify it and then of course uh, the advertisers will follow no, for sure yeah and the listenership is just increasing like you know 10 20 percent every year so yeah yeah absolutely yeah. it's growing even more i think yeah yeah and yeah. now it's global since uh, uh of course in us it's going much faster than everywhere but it's now growing also here in bulgaria in europe and also it's it's much more trustful uh, medium because you listen to the person for 30 minutes or you see him as now so it's uh, much better at, even for the brands to build uh, awareness this way because it's much more trustful stable long term it's uh, different than just a banner in a website or something so it's yeah, it will grow for sure over time yeah, it kind of reminds me of the um, early days, you know, like the YouTube, like the YouTubers and um, uh, they just built it in quiet. And then once YouTube got very popular, you had guys like Mr. B. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like this. I believe uh, that momentum is uh, coming for the podcast because it's really emerging. The brands already know it. They just researching how to do it, I think. So it's it's really a matter of time to to adopt uh, this also a lot of podcasts have great uh, how to say uh, diversity of the content or uh, distribution like on as you are doing uh, on on youtube and then you can be on uh, tiktok reels and uh, so on so it's really kind of building on all channels and uh, it it's really helping this way to of course for the advertiser to be everywhere as well <laughs> So it's merging between the podcasts and podcasting and social networks. It's really merging uh, 
in the traffic and the, of course, in the monetization. Yeah. Um, kind of the next question I have is, um, you know, what are some common challenges both advertisers and podcasters face in the advertising space and how does Podvertise FM help overcome these challenges? Yeah. Okay. So right now of uh, my observations of the industry is like you, you need to be a little bit more educated as advertiser uh, and also as a uh, uh, podcast, you have to have a, lim uh, a minimum limit of downloads or uh, listenership. So you can be part of uh, most ad networks, you can say, and uh, really it's, it's, takes time for the podcast to start monetizing at all. And then same time, advertisers uh, don't have enough, uh, not taxes, but more like uh, education uh, and easy access to as many podcasts as possible. So it's like they, they just start to advertise on a more random basis. What we are trying to do with uh, Podvertise is we, we invite the podcast to, lead the, uh, to list their ad offers and they are really uh, public in the marketplace. So you so the advertiser, it could be marketing agency, brand, small business, anyone can uh, actually research by category or by search engine and can find uh, like the ad offers with uh, with uh, specific uh, downloads, uh, ads, with specific uh, audience details, with the pricing is public. So it really simplifies it and you can make a decision in like a few seconds. You can find out a relevant podcast to your to your business, and then you can start uh, testing out. You can directly message, so it's an open system where both sides can message each other. So this is really helping for uh, for both sides to to build uh, a, a relationship, so they can start to uh, advert and then to do the whole uh, brand campaign and uh, either the whole street ad, it could be also an interview, it could be uh, pre-recorded ads. Uh, so it, it's always opening. It really depends on the podcast. They decide, uh, he decides like uh, what kind of offer he wants to offer. So it's really simple and uh, it takes like a few minutes to list another offer. And then uh, we are just, uh, like uh, uh, how to say like additional revenue streams so we we don't have some exclusive contracts and all this so the podcast can work with whoever they want we also try to work with podcast networks and uh, to to actually help them either they can list list the offers of the podcast they work with or they can uh, invite the podcasts to to list uh, there are offers. So yeah, we try to work with everybody on the market and make it simple and fast to to make decision about the advertisement. Yeah, the uh, the other question I have is um, navigating host red ads. And um, what I've really tried to understand is there a unique aspect of advertising and explain the process of managing these ads through poverty and what makes them more effective compared to other forms of digital advertising. Yeah, sure. So uh, this is really, uh, as I said, it's really a simple process that takes few minutes to list your uh, offer. Uh, and uh, you can literally write it in the title and of course in the description later, like uh, if this is a pre-roll, mid-roll, post-roll, uh, if this is a host read ad, and then uh, of course the title of the podcast and uh, the advertiser will know, okay, this ad is for uh, about 30 seconds or 60 seconds and they can directly decide and either message you either directly they can purchase it and then uh, the process is uh, when the advertisement is purchased the they they message each other for uh, for uh, more details about the message uh, about the host read ad uh, details and and then once the episode is live you, uh, the podcast is literally sharing the link and the minute when the host read was uh, set and the advertiser verifies and says uh, thank you and that's uh, that's pretty much and they can exchange uh, reviews because those will be super helpful when you as a podcast have more reviews it means more advertisers will after that fall pretty much like how Fiverr works for example because 
uh, yeah, that's where we were inspired from because it's like uh, a really geeks marketplace for everybody from smaller to bigger marketers or whatever. So we try to do the same to open it for all, all sizes and niches of podcasts from the small ones to, of course, also the big ones, uh, whoever wants to list their ad offering. Yeah. And then kind of following it and kind of concluding is, you know, future trends and given your experience with SEO and other digital marketing, where do you see the future of podcast advertising heading and how is it advertised preparing to adapt or lead these future trends in podcast sponsorships and advertising? Yeah, sure. So uh, I, I can see that, of course, AI will be more and more implemented and uh, there are already great uh, different SaaS tools that help the podcast to really uh, get the transcription and just uh, curate the, the summary of the of the episode. So it really simplifies and it makes it easy for them to share it uh, on all their uh, social medias. Uh, there are also tools that do uh, make videos like real short videos that are very easy to share on social media so what we are doing we are uh, working also on uh, transcriptions and figuring out the best way to actually match the most relevant advertisers for specific uh, podcasts uh, based even on episode level based on the transcription content and all this so we are trying in the long term to kind of match them in real time if it's possible and that's what we are trying and also uh, of course we uh, we are uh, also suggesting to the advertisers like uh, advertising message which is based on uh, big data analysis of uh, previous uh, advertisements so we can actually compile and create an advertising message for their for their advertisement so in that direction big data content and uh, ai mechanisms where it's possible <laughs> yeah. yeah how can people contact you and um find out the, about the work that you do yeah sure so uh, uh you can find me in uh, podvertise.fm in the footer there is a link to my linkedin account and i'm netco uh, not netco netco so you can find me on linkedin also and uh yeah we can talk more for sure would be great yeah for all the audience out there let's thank Nedco for coming on and um, talking about this interesting field and be sure to give him a like and follow in his socials. And um, with that, thanks so much for coming on to the podcast. Thank you very much, Christopher, for having me. It was great.